Dude, hold on. That's kind of like a goaded impression. Me on stage after the audience has already been warmed up by a superior opening act. I love to open the show with my impression of uh, Come Together by the Beatles. Dum, dum, -ka -ta -dum, dum. They would eat that up, man. They would be like, that is how that goes. Dum, dum, -ka -ta -dum. <clears throat> okay, I'm shaking it out. I'm ready. Every single person is my enemy. Go, go. Why are you why are you wasting your time? You don't practice a drive. This is the S tier. Anytime you lose chat, just say, oh the misery. Works every time. This is my master class. Hey, I had a great idea for a bit, okay? You gotta give me a second here though. So every, oh, please. Oh, Elden Ring. More, Blue Sparks. Every hotel you go to, there's a Bible and also the Book of Mormon. What if you bought 10,000 copies of Ninja's autobiography and you just started leaving it in every hotel room that you went to? And just put it next to them, next to the other books of power. I'm uh, a hater. I was born a hater. I'm gonna die a hater. Nice what are the first books you're gonna buy for Luna? Bro, she has like a 200 book library. I mean, none of the, it's no classics. Like there's no Anna Karenina in there. She's not ready for it. But she's got a lot of books that are like $1.99 each that are called like Going to the Dentist. <laughs> For the men were deceived as there was another book. Dun, 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 dun. What a putt. Incredible putt, Chase. <laughs> Mr. Popeye's take. I've got to... I've conditioned people to expect too much from the stream. Yes, you have missed the Popeye's bid seven times, okay? And it's not that the Popeye's bid is just that I don't think that it's that good. And then you say, did you get the chicken sandwich? And I say, no, because we were buying food for like 10 people, so there were no special orders. We just got like a, I don't know, we got 20 pieces or something like that. And then you say, what'd you get for the sides? I didn't choose the sides, okay? They chose coleslaw and french fries. Oh, you got to get the red beans and rice. Okay, I wasn't in charge of that. Maybe they should call the place Popeye's, semicolon, you have to get the red beans and rice, okay? Because what it's called is Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen, and the, the ad goes, love that chicken from Popeye's. So, like, I got the chicken. Apparently, you're not supposed to order the chicken when you go to Popeye's. Who knew? Because nice America is a land that's very confusing. If a restaurant sells fried chicken, you're not supposed to buy the fried chicken there. Also, even though everybody gets their own entree, obviously every entree is meant to be split five ways. You're not supposed to eat a whole salad by yourself. No wonder it's 1,700 calories. They crushed up one tortilla chip in it. Why, what am I doing? You literally post a 1,700 calorie salad from Cheesecake Factory, you get people in your mentions. It's probably the dressing. It's probably everything! You think I don't have a, a base understanding of thermodynamics? This is a par five, right? We're fine. We're f it's not great, but it's fine. See, it's fine. Nice approach. Good approach out of the bunker. 
Also, can I can I give you a task? Here's something. I was using uh, the the Cheesecake Factory website on my phone to try to make the order. Text, uh, well, my wife texts her sister. Hey, what do you want from the Cheesecake Factory? Lady says, jambalaya. Okay, first off, your family, so I'm not gonna ask any questions, but there are some circling around in my brain right now. Then, here's, here's your task. It's like playing IMDB races against Atrioc. Where would you expect to find Java, or Java? Jambalaya on the Cheesecake Factory menu. Is it in fish and seafood? Is it in pasta? Is it in specialties? Is it in entrees? Is it in skinny-licious? Is it in soups? Is it in shareables? Is it in appetizers? Guess what? It's in pasta! Because it's jambalaya served on top of some linguine. Which was not in the original text, by the way. It was, so I was, t Kate's like, what is jambalaya? And I'm like, oh, it's like a Cajun sort of stew. It's got like some sausage in it something. It's got some shrimp. It's got some, usually it's served on top of rice. And I'm trying to figure out how the hell to get to, to find that on the Cheesecake Factory menu. Because everything is like, it's not named after what it is. It's named after like what you feel when you eat it. Is it in Zesty? Z zesty favorites? I don't know. Anyway, it was in pasta. 3.7 backspin. That's a four. That's a four. Blue sparks. Oh, no sparks. That's gumbo, not jambalaya? Honestly, honest question, what's the difference? Two piece me. The pasta, okay, fair enough. You got me? Should have put some backspin on it. Should have put some backspin on it. A physics context? Isaac Newton is rolling in his grave right now? It did a ring around the rosy and got spat out the same way it came in? What is this? Gator golf? Anyway, that's all I got. I saw someone say effing Canadians, man. Listen, when you have this kind of like, uh, when, you, when you have such a large sphere of influence that the world is part of your sphere of influence, you should learn to have a thicker skin and take some criticism about uh, fast casual chain restaurants. Dude, no, leave Cheesecake Factory alone. That's where I take my grandma for her birthday. Oh, I'm, I'm not saying we don't eat there. I'm just saying, why is the, fu why is the salad so high calorie? And why is the, the menu needs a sort function and a search function? You can't order it. Like the, the restaurant could not have existed prior to the invention of computers because the menu is too big for a human being to actually find what they're looking for. It sounded derogatory. Well, it's derogatory in the sense that I, I don't think it should be legal to sell a 1,700 calorie salad to one person. But like, that's just my own, you know, hang ups, I guess. Best shot of all time incoming. That's pretty darn good. Nice song. Okay, I mean, this is a very eagleable hole, so we this would be a nice one to make. VIP Daniel, holy cow. Ooh, a 
a little more heat and that's in. That is in with a little more heat. That one is in. I'll take my birdie, but there's going to be a lot of birdies here. Especially after that bogey, we really needed that one. Can't buy 1,700 calories, but a pizza's okay. Well, a 1,700 calorie salad is like a lie. That's basically it. I'm not saying that people are under the delusion that all salads are good for you, but when you see a salad and it's like spinach, chicken, cherry tomatoes, red onions, a couple of walnuts, and vinaigrette, you're like, that's probably good for you. Then you look at it, it's 1,700 calories. People have the audacity to Isaac Newton's plane. There's probably a lot of dressing. There's probably a lot of everything, okay? The whole thing is too, it's, it's just too fucking big. It's unreasonable. No! <laughs> it's still a good game. Good luck, VIP Daniel. Good luck. We did not make the finals. Too much shit on it. When a, when a salad is like crispy chicken Caesar salad, crispy Cobb Waldorf Astoria salad, and then I look at it and it's like fucking bacon, pork belly, uh, fried chicken, creamy ranch dressing. I'm like, okay, 1,700 calories? Sure, I, I believe that. When it's called like a Harvest Fresh Chicken Garden Salad, you're like, okay, what is it? It's probably like, you know, 400 calories? No, it's literally 4.25 times that. It's crazy, man. And then they have people have the audacity to say, like, what'd you expect? Everybody, didn't you read the required reading before you went to Cheesecake Factory? Every entree is meant to be split three ways. Every salad also doubles as a shareable appetizer that should be split between half a dozen people. I don't know. I did, listen, it's been a while since I did fractions, okay? I'm more of like a decimal guy. It's no P.F. Chang's. Dude, there was a P.F. Chang's there. I honestly wish I went to the P.F. Chang's. I know it's not good for you, but I would go hard on some lettuce wraps, man. I would go hard on some lettuce wraps. I know it's not exactly oat cuisine, but some, like, refreshing lettuce, lightly breaded chicken, little sweet and sour sauce, you know, chow mein, crunchy chow mein noodles. Maybe some peanuts on there. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. The lettuce wraps. Listen. We don't get P.F. Chang's up here, but they got stolen by Cactus Club Earl's and uh, Joey's, which are all exactly the same restaurant. Okay, we don't go psycho right off the bat. I love a lettuce wrap, man. Been eating them for years. I heard they recently added more hops. Oh, you piece of job. You know, it's okay. Joe's in here with me. You know what you do? You're going to hit a tree. So you club up. Full power backspin. Should have used the driver. Let me introduce you. Rider meet horse. Horse meet rider. How about three-piece backspin? I like it. Tangent to the curve, please! For par. I should have practiced. <laughs> I'll take you. That was perfect, though. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. I like eating food that's bad for me. I just don't want to be insulted. Like, if I'm eating food that's like crispy chicken Nashville hot chicken waffle, I'm like, okay, let's, like, let's go for it. 
But if I'm in the, I'm like, oh, I'm going to try to be a little bit more sensible. And you're like, hey, you had no problem. We have a large variety of four digit calorie salads. Like, can you just stop that? And then people, I don't know if it's like a, a self-loathing thing, but they're like, well, that's what happens when you get salad with dressing. No, it fucking isn't in like the rest of the world and also probably like 80% of the restaurants in the United States, to be fair. They're like, if you want to eat healthy, you should just have like a bowl of lettuce with one cherry tomato. No, you don't. You're, you, you've been, you're under the boot of the corporation. You don't understand. There, you have alternatives. I left for the gym an hour ago. You're still talking about Cheesecake Factory? We went on a journey. There were other bits in the meantime. Okay? People were asking. They were. They said, give me the Popeye's bit. And then I couldn't help myself. Oh, dude, this is kind of sick with it, though. This, this is a full power backspin. Oh, it's a driver. Um, I don't care. Never tell me the odds. Spoon man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this. That hurt. Why? Well, imagine if it had gone in. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Grip it and rip it, brother. Somebody should put some sand on the damn green. Okay, so for double bogey. Two piece with backspin goes in the hole. That's like so much more power than I wanted. Okay, triple bogey. Quadruple bogey. Chad, is it his first time playing? Pardon me, excuse me. Does that look like it's my first time playing? That putt? Yes? Okay, well then, sure, it's my first time playing. Whatever makes you feel better. Now that Elizabeth Holmes is in prison for 11 years, are you going to stop doing the voice? Well, like, people will... We're like a year away from people forgetting who she is. And that means we're like four years away from the think pieces that are like, actually, she was girl bossing. We should let her out of prison early. Listen, I didn't really think through where this take is going to go. But like, um, I know she did like some pretty terrible stuff. But like... 11 years, that's like a long time, man. That seems like too long. Like, she's gonna... She'll learn her lesson in like... Like five years. Right? I don't know. I don't, would love to know your thoughts on this. Like, if you kill somebody... I understand being in prison. Because you're like a danger to society, maybe. In, in not, we have to look at it like, we'll lead us to kid. Listen, it's like you gotta take it on a case by case basis. But in theory, if you were a relentless homicidal maniac, I understand why you have to be in prison because you have to protect society from the. Anyway, if you were in a position where it was like somebody was robbing like the last loaf of bread that you needed to did, feed Tiny Tim who did not die, then maybe it's a different. Long story short, okay? But like all she did, what did she do? She like lost some money. Get over it. But five years. I give her five years. Let's go. <laughs> S 
sell, sell, sell. What about SBF? I don't know. Like, this shit's not even real anyway. Doesn't make any sense to me. What was he doing? Like, highly illegal stuff? Using customer deposits to juice returns? Uh, and then it all came crashing down like all Ponzi schemes do eventually? Seven years, okay? Think of the investors. Why can't you just print money to make them whole? We've done it before. I, I, I don't get, I just don't get it, I guess. Not the best lie. What? Out of bounds? Nice shot. Who <laughs> slurped me? That's not what you want to hear. I resign. This is hole two, right? We're almost free. I resign. Effective immediately. This is gonna hit a tree, so we gotta we gotta go through. I don't think he's making it. I'm not washed. Watch this chip. Washed, am I? Fuck you, you piece of shit. You think you're cool, you're not cool. That would have been a, the most clippable moment of December for me. You had to ruin it because of what? Physics? Triple fucking bogey. <sighs> Please just pivot to what? Super Auto Pets test build. Deactivated until January. Dark and darker out until February. Marvel Midnight Suns, also known as Marvel, um, it is midnight outside because I am sleeping. We're playing golf until something strikes me. So this is Christmas. And look what you've done. Anybody, everybody typing slice and dice. Your New Year's resolution is to get a damn clue. Eliminate me. Oh, I got one more hole of this? <laughs> Sorry, that was really rude. Please, please play slice and dice so I can type question marks in the chat when you do something that completes the fight in the same amount of turns but is slightly less optimal in an intellectual sense than if you had done things the way I did it. But it, the, the way I suggested it doesn't even work because I didn't get the game myself. So I just, oh, sorry. Why are you so mad about it? You listen to yourself. Get a, get a clue. Absolutely, you, I don't even want to say what I was going to say. I was going to call you a... I was going to say there is a famous clown named after what I was about to say. And we'll leave it at that. Two and a half piece me. Textbook. Handsome Pansom, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Full Aces Tennis Simulator 2. I'll meet you out on the clay court if you're not afraid to get Rafael Nadal. This is a, this is a tricky shot here. Come on, come on. Backspin. Backspin. Wow, what a bounce, dude. Nice. This is the hopium shot. Oh! <laughs> Clean. Nice drip. Dude, we might we might have a chance to make the semis. I'm sorry, I'm rooting against you. I'm everybody taking shots right now. I'm rooting against you. 
Bogey, bunker. I saw Joe went OB, so this is probably for a bogey. Joe with the bogey. Silver with the bogey. Careful of John Golf. Who is John Golf? I love the hair, brother. What a chip. Okay, we're watching. It's a gr oh, dude. That was an insane chip. Holy cow! Horrible reference. What you don't like? Are people? Oh, they canceled the uh, Anne Rand. When when did I miss that? Oh, in the 1970s. Oh, okay. All right, if you say so. Like you're perfect. Like you've never written a 1,000 page masturbatory critique of a guy you made up in your head filtered through an allegory of like only one man has the skills and shoulders necessary to build a railroad it's not like it just literally takes like money and a, and a pen what is this bit i don't know i've never read the book this shit is like three thousand pages long <laughs> I'm back, baby! I'm only one point back of the lead. I can't believe it. All I know is that when I was in high school, like one of it was a national scholarship. It was it was the highest value scholarship on like the scholarship aggregator I used. If you won the Ayn Rand Atlas Shrugged Essay Contest, you, you got like a $10,000 scholarship for your first year of school. Which at Canadian universities at the time was literally like double one year's tuition. So I was like, I'm going to do it. And then I never did it because you have to read like an insanely long book and then win an essay contest. I was like, I want to meet the kid who won it. So I feel like there's only two ways it could go, right? One is they're young Sheldon, and the other one is they're like, dude, I got him. They, they bought it, bro, they bought it, lol. I think this will work with no backspin. Nice job. It needed to be full power, obviously. What the hell was that? Good birdie, Joe. Good birdie. Well done. You princes of Maine. You kings of New England. What the hell was that? Ref. Parmy. Pretend I'm at the Olive Garden and I just ordered a minestrone soup and parm me. Hey, ooey do. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. Get your libertarian dad to write it for you. Bro, my dad is not a libertarian. I don't even know what he is. He complains about everything. We're just alike. What a putt. He's just a guy, yeah. <laughs> He's just a guy who doesn't eat mayonnaise. You're exactly right. He's just a guy who, every time we go to a restaurant, he orders like a hamburger, but he has to grill the waitress first and be like, hey, so there's a special sauce on this. Is this like mayonnaise based? And they're always like, um, yeah, I think it's like an aioli. And I'll, I'm like, I'll stop you right there. He doesn't know what that means. We'll get it with no special sauce, please. This is, I always get this hole a little wrong. I think we want to be three and a half with backspin. Nice shot. Little heavy on the on the aioli on that one. Can you drop me off and then pick me up? It's a tough shot. I know people got on the green, but that's a tough shot. 
What's his beef with mayo? I don't know, honestly. It's like, I think it's just gone on long enough that that's like, it's who he is now. And that's fine. He ain't heavy, man. He's my brother. Come on, please! <laughs> I don't think we're making it to the finals. I, I'm just going to say it, Toddzilla3000. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I don't think we're going to be in Rush Hour 3 here. I will say I'm not like... Um, I'm not anti-mayo. I'm not pro-mayo. But the most disgusting thing on the planet as long as we're talking about things that are really just minor in the whole scheme of things, people who get two lines of mayonnaise or more on their, um, on their Subway sandwiches. Hey, Katie likes eggs. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. I hope you're not a two-line mayo enjoyer, but thank you. Thank you. We are not, we're not making it. Best of luck to Joe in his quest against John Golf. Like one line of mayo. And I, listen, I don't make the rules. One line of mayo, I think, is fine, even though I don't get it. I'm a, I'm a zero-line mayo enjoyer. But I also feel like a flavored mayo is not additive. Like, you can get one line of mayo and then, like, one line of, like, a, a ranch or, like, a chipotle or something like that. And for some reason, I don't make the rules. I just observe them. That doesn't feel like that's too gross, even though, obviously, they're made up of, like, the same ingredients. Oh, we're moving up, man. But like, oh, dude, two lines of mayo. Just something about it's just something about the way it sits, man. <laughs> hey, a random guy, ninety. Thank you as well. Thank you. You know what I think? For me, it's like if if they Tezande, the celebrity Tezande dot ETH. If they had like um. Like, the bread, and then they put mayo on it, and they took one of the Subway knives and went, like, scrape, so that it was, like, a layer of mayo. For some reason, that doesn't bother me as much. But um, when it's, like, two rails of mayonnaise, and they have, like, a, they have a contour, they're beveled and embossed, and they're just sitting there, like, here I am, here I am. I'm like, that is gross, man. Shit grosses me out. I don't know. I, did, I know it doesn't make sense, okay? How much time do you spend watching other people's subs? Well, like 10 minutes because they all take fucking forever to order their sandwiches because they all think they've got the one secret. Mm, ooh, can you, can you do a little toast and then put the cheese on it and then do a real toast? For mommy's special boy. Can you put exactly three cucumbers on it, please? Nice shot. It's OB! I thought I would just be in the rough. One, listen, one of you motherfuckers an hour ago said... Try going left on this hole. I did it, it worked out, and I've fucked it up every single time since. You piece of garbage. You bamboozled me. Like, uh, in bedazzled. You bedazzled me. I said I wanted to be in the NBA. You said, guess what, you're in the NBA, but now you have a tiny penis. Can I, listen, if you had to choose... In Bedazzled, if you've never seen Bedazzled, please just be silent for a minute until you watch the classics. If you had to choose which, which cursed Brendan Fraser you would be from Bedazzled, which one would you be?
the author who's incredibly rich and beloved but happens to be gay? Okay, that's a great answer, honestly. The drug lord? What was his problem with being a drug lord again? Like, it, it, it couldn't have been ethical constraints. Like, my man is doing deals with the devil. The devil! He's like, I'm making a deal with Beelzebub, the, the lord of the flies. But, oh, also, oh, selling drugs is too much for me. Oh, Jesus Christ. I quit. Maybe I am a little tilted. Honestly, I'm just going to say it. Why didn't he just stick with the NBA one? I forget why. Like, didn't he say he wanted to be a professional basketball player? She could have done a lot worse. She could have put him in, like, you know, the G League or something like that and then given him a huge penis. Instead, she put him in the NBA and he was like a celebrity. But he just had a, he, he had a tiny, you know what? So what, brother? You got every, nobody's got everything. He was also dumb. Dude, that's a bonus. I'm losing. I'm not even hitting full power on my drives anymore. I'm just saying, that one didn't seem that bad. Anyway, I guess at the end, he outsmarted the devil, so it kind of like worked out for him. Listen, you're going to hate this, but the only way we're making this is if we drive it. Do you think our drive would stay under the tree? We, we, we triple bogeyed. Like, we literally, we have no shot unless we go for it. So let's try to miss the tree and just go ham. Nice shot. You bedazzled me. It's not under the tree, it's under the sea. Okay, plus two, plus two. It's a simple full power, no backspin. No, it's a simple. It's a simple full power, no backspin. In the hole. That extra point one would have been real nice there. I'm not putting. Chips are just cooler. Me at Subway? Jesus Christ. So par five. Respect me. Okay. We're doing, we're doing one more. We're going to play smart this time, okay? We're going to play smarter. We're going to play sensible golf. That's it, just sensible golf. Jidno is crazy, he's insane. That was a good attempt. What's your, what's your opinion on pudding? I've never really eaten it, and yet I've never really been impressed. I feel like I don't really like desserts that are like, it's just a thing, you know? Like what is pudding? I don't, like, I'm in the same boat, like, I don't really like, like, custard. And I, I don't like creme brulee. I like the brulee part. I do not care for the creme, quite frankly. Like, what is pudding? Isn't it, like, a factory byproduct of, like, an industrial application? Isn't it, like, while they're making Little Debbie snack cakes, like, some pudding gets crusted around the around the gears and then they gotta like, you know, scrape it off, otherwise it'll grind to a halt. Finish. Do you not know what pudding is? No, I don't, what is pudding? That was not a good performance. Yeah, it's just like goop, right? 
It's like condensed milk. Honestly, my ideal dessert. You don't have to agree, by the way, but my ideal dessert is something like a a small pastry. Like a or maybe like a little a little tart or like um or a tart lit for that matter or like a like I don't really like I don't like a cake that's like this. But occasionally, I'll eat a cake that's like a, a, a thin rectangle. You know what I mean? I'm not like a big uh, triangular slice of cake guy. But like a, a, a tall, slim, rectangular piece of cake I can get down with. Or even, honestly, just like a little... Um, like a mint. Like an after-dinner mint or something like that. No, there's a difference, dude. There is a difference. It's not the way they cut it. Dude, nobody's cutting a, a nine-inch cheesecake from Safeway like the same way that they're, they're cutting these tall, thin rectangles. You listen, if you don't know what I mean, you can just shut up, okay? Nobody's cutting the tiramisu into a damn triangular prism. Looks like a Trivial Pursuit piece. You piece. Okay, we want to be three point. Eight. Let's restore some belief. Nice shot. That's four. Still might be good. Good bounce. Bad bounce. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's actually like an insanely plausible chip in. What did I tell you? Extremely chippable. Oh my god, I just got it. They yell four in golf because they're whole they're filling up the full golf meter. True. Very true. I, I finally got that. Plus two. You like panna cotta? I don't know. What is panna cotta? Is that the one I like? I, this is not a joke. I like like a sugar cookie. <laughs> like a shortbread or something like that. Like a shortbread. It's not a bit. This is what I like for dessert. You gotta expand your horizons. I had cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. When I was eating it, I was like, this is good. But like, if I was at a restaurant, would I order it? I'd be like, no, are you crazy? I just ate a whole meal at the Cheesecake Factory. Now you want me to eat dessert? Did you see the menu? That's, I, li I like an ice cream for dessert. Holy cow, that's horrendous. No, no! That's not making it. Don't don't be an idiot. Three piece, three piece. We'll take it. In fact, I I say it's even better this way. Okay. 33 mile an hour wind. Don't overcompensate laterally. I want a three piece with backspin. I'll take it. None backspin would have been nice now that I look at how that went down. Very, very insanely important shot. Green is unreadable.
<clears throat> we make these. A single bogey could make it. Just got, got back from watching Bedazzled. The movie looks pretty bad. Yeah, it's one of those movies I would say is not um, good. But if you were like 13 when it came out, you're like, this is one of the best comedies that's ever come out. And I was around 13 when it came out, so it sort of just... I like it. I got a soft spot for it. What can I say? But dazzled slander will not be tolerated? I mean, it's not that good. It's not horny bait. I just happened to be 13 when it came out. That's just, I, I, it was right place, right time. She do be lizzin on my Hurley till I Brendan. So true. So true. <laughs> Is Elizabeth Hurley uh, canceled? I thought she had kind of like one of those Vanessa Hudgens moments. Sure, like, people are gonna die, but like, inevitable maybe? No, she did not own slaves. Just <laughs> stop. Not every bad person is that bad, okay? Some people just have opinions that I deem unacceptable. Good. Good approach. We're still hanging. What's, my, what's wrong with my chair, man? Did I overeat this weekend? My Herman Miller is groaning. Sounds like an old submarine. No, I believe Vanessa Hudgens did an Instagram live around COVID popping off in March 2020 where she was like, I don't get it. People are, I mean, people are going to die, but like inevitable maybe. She thought about it for a second and then she went, mm. <laughs> it's the best way to, to phrase this. She was mad that Coachella was canceled. Oh, well, now listen, I don't hold it against her then. I thought it was, I thought she was just making a, a stand for no reason. I didn't realize there was like, you know, an underlying trauma behind it. This, dude, this is so whole in oneable. You want full power backspin? Is that simple? You, you might even want to go 3.9 backspin. Nice. That's 3.9 with backspin. I'm a little right. Please pull me back. I've been good this year, Santa. Oh, if I moved it two inches to the left, that was in the hole. By the way, if I lived in America, you could catch my ass at Target every damn day. Does Target have a patent on the only good shopping cart ever made? The shopping carts are always great. They're always smooth. I don't know, like they have a mechanic in the back or something that's, he's taking out all the gravel and stuff. 
Also, I was into, we, we stayed in the U.S. for two and a half days. I went to Target because I was like, oh, we're staying in a hotel with a fridge. Let's get some stuff, you know. Let's get some juice. Let's get some beef jerky. Let's get some fruit for, you know, my daughter. I bought like 60 bucks worth of stuff. I, I couldn't stop putting shit in the cart. So I was like, normally I don't get beef jerky. I go in there. They're like, hey, here's like a, a pound of beef jerky. It's like six bucks. I'm like, I'd be a fool not to get it, man. And the cart's so satisfying to drive that I just kept, uh, I just kept driving around. And then I was spending even more stuff. I was buying even more. I was buying dried blueberries, dried mangoes. I got uh, some goldfish. I got some cold brew coffee. And you know what's crazy? It really is a land of opportunity or whatever. Nice. Oh, this cold brew coffee I've been drinking for like two years. I thought it was local, made in Vancouver. I go down to Target. Not only do they have it, they got four varieties of it. They got black coffee. They got subtly sweet. They got a little sweeter. And they got a light roast. In Vancouver, we're only getting two. So I picked up a flat of those. Like, it's... You'd have to be stupid not to. I think we get... We're in the lead. Play smart ball here. Drop me right here for a good approach. I love this approach. Okay, minimal wind, very, very slight uphill. I'm gonna call it negligible. I would love to hit a three piece with no backspin. That hurts. Quiet. I said quiet on the backswing. He did it right in my face. Right in my face, he did it. Santa. Son of a bitch. Bogey plus one. Bogey me? Bogey. The bird is at a birdie! <laughs> oh. Just tap it in, Happy. Yeah, we're not beating the birdie either way. In fact, we came in dead last out of the people who made it to the finals. <clears throat> not great. Did you get a sleeve for that Lugia card? Yep, um, it is sleeved up and it will be sitting in a closet, I'm sure, until the 2040s. When it is discovered by somebody who says, wow, this is sleeved, it must be worth a lot of money. Uh, and then they look it up and they found out that sometime in the 2020s, the bottom fell out of the Pokemon market. Kids are really into like vintage Paw Patrol merchandise. Turns out that the Pokemon trading card company actually was printing 10 times more mythic rares than they said they were going to print. Um, so there's way too much supply and it turns out to be worth nothing. They put, they still, they're like one day maybe. So they put it in a big Rubbermaid container and then every single time they move for the next uh, 10 years, they go, I should, I should really just like give this to the Salvation Army or something, but I'm not, maybe I'm just going to keep moving it and then they're going to die. And then like maybe one day, Maybe one day the cards will just decay. What about your Austin Powers cards? Those are safe. Those are still in the... I haven't opened a single one yet. They're still in the booster box. A lot of people don't know. This is the Austin Powers collectible card game. It's rated PG-13, open parentheses, not for the kids. 
There are 30 11 card booster packs in here. So this is, um, you can see uh, Seth Green. Seth Green, of course, played um, Scott Evil. And that's uh, Kristen Johnson from Third Rock from the Sun. She played Ivana Hump a lot. And then, of course, we can see Mike Myers and Vern Troyer as Fat Bastard and, and Mini-Me. Um, and then there's another Mike Myers as, uh, as Fat Bastard there. I forget who plays Frau Farbissena. I knew her name at one point. I don't know it anymore. Pretty good, the pretty good value, honestly. Here, put me back here. No Heather Graham on the side. Now that's a little crazy. Mindy Sterling, of course. Okay, we did not win the finals. 